Well, brothers and sisters, just want to extend um, an invitation to you. Uh, Father Tony kind of inspired me. You know, he heard, oh, you wanted to be a math teacher before you were going to be a priest. Well, you can still teach and you love God and you still kind of love math. And um, so it came up in prayer that um, I want to launch this fall. We're going to start what's called God Math. And so don't let the last word scare you. It's not actually math, but um, you might have heard in one of my homilies, we kind of talk about like, there are certain things in our faith that we have, we believe them, of course, but we don't understand them or they're harder to grasp on like the outset. They're kind of outside of our, our vision. I think I compared it to like the scope of light, you know, the color spectrum. There are certain colors that our eyes don't pick up, but they do exist. And there are certain things in our faith that are like that. And so God math is going to be a once a month gathering. It's going to be in the evenings on Tuesday evenings. Um, an hour and a half, so it's a very low commitment. You don't have to RSVP, but we will have snacks. And then we're going to be doing a teaching. Um, so there'll be a theme for the fall, a theme for the spring, and then we'll keep doing that. Um, a brief teaching, we'll have time of discussion, and we'll finish out with some um, guided time of prayer. So we want it to feed the mind, to feed the heart, to feed the community. Uh, that's kind of the hope. And this fall, we will be going uh, play by play through the Mass. So think about like, you know, you football fans, you go Monday morning quarterback, you look through the film, you rewind, you see how things went. We're going to do that with the Mass. And so why does Father hold his hands like this? Or why is the sign of peace right before communion? Why don't we do that at the end before coffee and donuts? Anyways, you're going to hear all about it. I don't want to give it all away, but we're going to go play by play through the Mass and just kind of explore that. The hope would be that we could really get to know and experience uh, more fully what's actually happening, to kind of tap into those um, things that are outside of our initial scope, but to enliven our faith. The more we know about the one we love, the more we can love him. And the more we love him, the more we want to know about him. And the Mass is the most powerful experience there. So just invite you to come um, to this first one in September. It's going to be great. <laughs>